Here's the styling video for the Mason Mahara Peterson Low, something that I recently just added to the collection. Later on in this video, we'll be going over different models, price, sizing, so stay tuned for that. But starting off this video with the first outfit, we do have on a vintage Russell Athletic Marlins t-shirt jersey thing. Um, I thrifted this for like five bucks. I just really love the color and it does fit really nicely as well. As far as these shorts, these are the Realtree camo shorts from Mint Crew. They do have like that double knee look as well. I did go up a size just for a baggier look. I personally really love these shorts as of right now. So definitely would recommend these. You guys know the drill. Links to everything will be down below. As far as these tube socks, these are from Target. I'm always wearing these. I've always been linking them as well. They are a little bit on the longer side, so I kind of just scrunch them up a little bit. But yeah, that is the first outfit. Heading over to the next one, I did wear this one on Instagram with just a regular pair of Chuck 70s, but I felt like it was only right to add a chunkier version of that. For the t-shirt, this is a Flake Studios white blank that will be dropping soon. Mint Crew Cargos in that nice wide-legged tan colorway. And then we do have on a feature blue trucker hat just for a nice pop of color. Personally, really baggy pants with these shoes look really good. They do have a nice stacking to them. And I just really love how wearable this is. Just a nice black and cream with the white laces. Super clean in my personal opinion. For the third outfit, I am wearing something a little more formal. This is a nice Stussy with the white stitching, purple top, nice little button up. For the pants, these are the Amazon Wrangler Rancher pants that I'm always wearing. I do recommend going up two sizes if you guys are looking into these pleated pants. And then you do have on the Mason Maharas on feet. Something that I'd wear like, you know, going out to the club, hanging out with friends on a nice dinner night. Um, and I also forgot to add a little nice white detail with the tank top underneath as well. But yeah, really cool. Really love how these look. Just think of these shoes as like an elevated version of a Chuck 70, something that does look a little bit better in my personal opinion than a regular Chuck 70, but super clean. Really love this sneaker right here. Moving on to the fourth outfit in this video. This is a new needles flannel that I recently just picked up. And then these shorts right here are from Locust and Wild Honey. These are the good carpenter shorts. Personally, I cannot take these off. These are my new favorite shorts right now, other than the Mint Crew Realtree camo ones. But I did go true to size if you guys are interested in these. I linked them down below. Go ahead and show Paul some love. These are some great shorts and I would highly recommend them. Just a quick look on how the Maharas look on feet with some socks. Definitely would recommend checking out my Instagram because I've been wearing these a ton. I'll post up the photo right now. The last outfit of this video, this is a nice white Flake Studios blank. Something that I'll be wearing all fall winter. Um, with a nice sun faded hoodie from 1213 LA links to everything will be down below this was from last year So I don't think they are actually selling these hoodies unfortunately But this is one of my favorite zip ups for the pants. These are from minimal. They're just some nice twill cargo pants um, Nice little flare at the bottom and then also you guys might want to ask Andy for a nice little restock on these zip ups because they're fire but overall the Mason Maharas with black, you know, really can't go wrong. I do love the flare on the pants as well. And like I said, baggy pants with these shoes look amazing, even with shorts. So before we go ahead and wrap up this video, I did want to go over a couple of things when it comes down to the Mason Mahara. I wanted to go over some different styles, price point, sizing, comfort. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the Peterson Low. If you guys watched the whole way through and enjoyed the styling portion, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button for me and subscribe if you guys are new here. Last time we tried this mic out, it did like not work out. So hopefully it's working out a little better right now. But yeah, here you guys have it. This shoe right here is called the Mason Mahara. The brand is called Mason Mahara Yasuhiro. It is a Japanese brand and they are well known for like giving different renditions of your normal day-to-day -day sneaker. So they do have like a Superstar, a Vans, um, an Air Force One, and then this one right here is their rendition of a Converse sneaker. As you guys can see, they did switch it up a bit, you know, by adding these like little extra layers to it. This model right here, if you guys are interested, I'll do my best to go ahead and link it down below. It is called the Mason Mahara Peterson Low. There's also another one that looks like it. It's called the Hank. It does have like a little extra bumper on the toe box. Personally, I really love the Peterson Low. I feel like this is the best model that you can buy from the brand. Unfortunately, the brand hasn't really dropped uh, pairs in a little while. So hopefully they do a restock very, very soon. If you guys are interested as far as sizing goes, I did go down a size. So in European sizes, usually a 42 would be a nine or nine and a half. I always wear a nine and a half or 10. So please keep that in mind. This pair right here is a size 42 and they do fit me perfectly. So I would recommend sizing down. So if that helps you guys out, please let me know down below in the comment box. I'll try my best to give you guys my sizing recommendation. 
So if you normally wear like a 10, I would recommend like a 43 or 10, 10 and a half, a 43. Um, it's really hard. So just leave a comment down below if you have any questions as far as sizing goes. But yeah, I did go with a size 42 in these. Retail price is around $300 to $400, depending on where you buy them from. Like I said, this shoe is a Japanese brand, so it is a little harder to come across, but they are available on Go in multiple different uh, colorways. So make sure to go ahead, use those links down below. As far as comfort goes, these aren't the most comfortable shoes. So I went ahead and added an extra insole from one of my basketball shoes. You guys can see the James Harden insole inside of here. And not too bad with the insoles in there. They are gonna hurt you by the end of the day. Like if you wear these for eight hours straight, your feet might just hurt a little bit, but it's called a swagger feist, you guys. It looks great on feet. Um, overall, they're not the most comfortable shoes, but I feel like they do look amazing when it comes down to the outfits. If you guys have any questions as far as this shoe right here or the brand, make sure to go ahead and let me know down below in the comment box. I do respond to every single comment. And yeah, that is it for the Mason Mahara Peterson Low. I haven't had the chance to take these off of my feet. I feel like they go with a lot of different outfits. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should, I'll post it up on the screen right now. I feel like I haven't been able to take these off as far as just wearing them on the daily. My pair is already beat, but shout out to the homie Kevin who actually sold me this pair right here. And ever since he sold me them, I haven't been able to take them off. But yeah, there you guys have it. The Mason Mahara Yasuhiro Peterson Low in that nice little aged and black and white colorway. Super clean in my personal opinion. You guys definitely know I love to wear my Chuck 70s, so it has been you know, a cool switch up from the Converse. That wraps it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to go ahead, follow me on Instagram, uh, TikTok, everything you need will be linked down below in the description box. I appreciate you guys so much for all the love as of lately. More videos will be dropping very, very soon. Thank you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all have a good one. Peace. And if you guys watch to the end of the video, make sure to go ahead and comment the cross emoji just so I know you guys watch the whole way through. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Peace out.